model is change in population size. And again, I've got the chunk of code there referencing that particular plot. And all of this is sitting inside this div, three colons, three semicolons, three semicolons. And that gives us this change in GDP and change in population size. These two plots pop themselves in there. And so still inside this second column, we've got a second row, the bottom row, right? And we could have more, you could have any number of rows. I mean, it can get a little bit messy if you have too many. You know, I've deliberately kind of kept this simple, but we've got a second row and this is our change in life expectancy by country. Actually, that heading isn't quite right, but you know, I, I did this in a hurry. So if we look at the code here, we go down and triple hashtag to define the row within the column. Remember, we had two hashtags saying that we were in the second column. Well, it's the second level, so we're creating a column. Now three hashtags saying it's a row within the column. And it's the same story here. But in this case, uh, we, we didn't use the tab set because we're not using tabulation tabs. We just got one graphic. And again, I've created a card that has um, card title change in life expectancy. Now, if I didn't do this to three uh, semicolons and then um, this information over here. It would still stick this graphic here, but it wouldn't create this nice little heading and a nice, you know, the nice neatness of this box. And I like these headings. So that's why I did that. And now we want to look at the final column and our final column is exactly the same. We've got two rows and in the first row, we've got two tabs. So it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Double hashtag saying now we're dealing with another column. Um, and uh, this actually should be column tab set just means that the tab sets are going to be in columns. In other words, one next to each other, um, like this one over there and one over there. If we did row tab sets, it would do the tab sets along the sort of Y axis of this. And then it's exactly as we did before. We're basically defining everything. It's exactly like the previous column. And now you can see we've gone down to another single hashtag Asia. And that means that we're now defining everything in this page here and everything there is exactly the same. Obviously, I'm, I'm just referencing uh, slightly different plots because these are the plots that make reference to the data in Asia. And then of course, we do the same thing for Europe and the Americas. And of course, you can do a lot more with these dashboards. I've done a very simple example over here. If you want to learn more about how to use Quarto, there's going to be a link on the screen at the moment. If you click on that, it'll take you to learnmore365.com. You can create a free account and access all of the cheat sheets and HTML and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So hope that was useful. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Speak to you soon. Take care. Speak to you soon. I've said that already. Bye.